Hi and welcome again with our second video of car sharing software. As I told you in the first video, uh, I'm going to show you the the website what we have done there. I try to explain to you uh, how to run it and how to generate the database. So uh, let's move to the Visual Studio. I have already uh, my copy. I just uh, took. You can clean it from. Uh, GitHub, I already published on my GitHub account. You can download it as a uh, zip from here, or you can uh, take loan. So I have already uh, copy on my Visual Studio. So uh, the important thing is to generate your database. Uh, here I have used the code, code first approach. Uh, so after you downloading your uh, copy, first things you need to generate your database. Uh, just need to change your uh, connection string from the app setting JSON uh, change the server name your lo local server it will be here I am I'm using the local one so I just I put point that's enough for me so the database name it this one what what will be generated for you I didn't use any username and password so this the database will be generated for you to make your up and run uh, so I have implemented, as you see, many things here. It's all right. It's not that uh, big deal with them. You can use any one of them, no problem. So the first things is here after we generate the database. After we generate our database, I think it's something very easy. Just you need to go to uh, 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 just need to generate it through the uh, nugget. Maybe yeah, through the nugget uh, console. Or from uh, through the uh, package manager console just you write uh, you can say uh, add migration after that you add the migration you just say you can say update database uh, that's it nothing more than that I will not do it because I have already done it before but you should be careful about changing the uh, database name from the startup file also uh, from the J uh, up, up setting file <laughs> so uh, let me just first things is to run the software or oh, let's talk about firstly about the about what I have in the back code so as you see I have used uh, sp.net core I try to split everything uh, I have here the models all my models I have add them here too uh, they are money but uh, what I will do I will try to talk about a few of them maybe I, I can cover everything with uh, this video so what I will do, I will uh, upload one more uh, PDF file, I put it on my website. I will put link for that too. You can find uh, all details in it on that uh, PDF file. I will explain everything written in that uh, PDF file. Uh, so uh, let me try to run it and see what we have there. So this is our homepage. Uh, the home page is very simple, but what we have here in the home page, uh, we have Google Map to show you your current location. Where are you now? You, you should get uh, permission from uh, your browser. After that, we can see the date. It's when you need to book your car, uh, the time for picking up, and time for drop off. Uh, and you can see here the home page cars to see all the car inventory. How what the company has because we are doing something they call it business uh, to consumer so the company they have fleet of cars people they can check the car and they can see everything you can log in or you can uh, register same time so but the first things is when you run the software you don't have user so just need to register after you register uh, you will be normal user not administrator so how to solve that you go to your uh, SQL Server, you go to your database. After that, just go check your uh, uh, something they call ASP Net roles, because we have here just two uh, two roles. Uh, we have user, I think uh, user users and admin. So I just need to see here my users and my admin. So if you are the first first uh, user, so you are uh, first user register, uh, you will be as a user. So how to uh, make it uh, admin and to get the permissions for admin you need to copy this ID from here 
uh, okay and go after that to the users asp.net users check your user which is your user your user is let's suppose one of this so copy the id to now you have two ids the user id and the role id you go after that where to something they call it user uh, roles this one this uh, just for the first user after that you can change it from the dashboard so here they say to you the user and the role by default all of them they will be users so what you just you you check the your user let's suppose this one your user and you need to make it uh, admin you pass the admin uh, the administrator or the admin role id it's just very simple and very easy so we copy the user id and the admin id put the user here and the the role uh, admin id here this for first user only after that you can control everything from your database okay so uh, let's go again uh, uh, let's try to say if as it as i say to you register is very easy just put your username that and add your username last name and email uh, sure you will receive email to uh, to active your account because uh, if uh, if you will register any website they say to you uh, active your account so they will send you a link to active your account uh, let's try to log in you can log in using google uh, or you can use log login uh, using uh, facebook or you can log in, log in normal user from your database same time I have used uh, recapture version 3 just to protect my uh, login so let's say now login so this user will be administrator so we are a bit different or more things in the nav bar we'll see here we'll see just I think the admin panel only extra so uh, uh, first things uh, let me just explain you the nav bar what you have in the nav bar and then we have cars uh, uh, we talked before about it we have the admin panel because I am administrator we have the reservation so what I have uh, a reservation for upcoming reservation and past reservation what's mean that what I book cards for uh, future and what I have I had booking I can see records for everything they have book so here I can see my profile my address my driving license my uh, favorite cars if I have any car before I book it I can see it my order histories my pending orders uh, so let's make scenario for ourselves and say we ne need to book car so uh, three you have two uh, uh, ways to book your car but first things I need uh, let's say I need the details for your booking I need to know from where you want uh, you want to book this car or from where you want to pick it and where you want to drop it you have two ways you can say I think uh, uh, throw the bin. So throw this bin. You can move wherever you want. You can say where where are your uh, current location or from where you want it. So let's suppose I, need, I say I need it from here, uh, from Stanford. Let's suppose I'm. You are saying I am in this area. I need to see all the cars around me. But where you want to drop it, you can say give me the drop off bin. So I said I want to take it from here. I want to drop the car in this area. Okay. After that, you can say when you need it. To, uh, you can pick just for two days, 18 and 19. Let's suppose for 18. So the time I need it, let's suppose from 6 o'clock to uh, 7 o'clock, one hour you need it. Because here we are basing in just for a uh, uh, short time only. So this one, one, uh, one way. The second way, using uh, a Google Map, they provide something nice too. You can say, I want a book car from, let's suppose from uh, Lister. I want to go to London. I want to drop it there. Okay, I'll show you on the map the, the route for that uh, booking. I will use the same criteria here. I'll say find the car. So they will show me all the car available in Lister now for this company. So they show you in the map. They say to you on this road or in this area you have uh, you have this uh, car. I can see more details about the car. I can see this car model, the price and the rating about this car and the year and they can book it from here let's go to the second one I can see here the fourth focus they said the price and the rating for it should not be 0.3 this gap and this they said here one more uh, message this uh, vehicle is in your favorite list this mean 
I have booked this car before and I added to my favorite list. So I like this car. This what's what you are meaning. Our meaning so. Uh, so let's suppose I wanna book this car. Okay. Uh, let's say uh, book it. So here you have something nice to show you just three uh, a few confirming just for confirm uh, confirming your uh, booking. Here I have you something they call it uh, quartz uh, scheduling. So here your booking will be for just for 15 minutes. This back to you. You can put the time how as much as you want. But I put for 15 minutes. If the user he does not confirm the payment, the booking record will be deleted because I don't need to leave the car booked for someone he doesn't pay it so if you pay it within 15 minutes that's car will be for you so i have you something they call the quartz uh, uh quartz uh, dot net to schedule the bag work for me so here uh, one more thing i have used the uh, something they call it uh, stripe payment uh, to pay uh, uh, to pay for your uh, booking so what mean that just here you can here you show your address everything in the button but if you go to the pay with card so just i'm using pay with card now so it show you this uh, forum say to you add your email an email you can add okay uh, okay so you need test card number because i'm using something here a test card number so just press on test mode it will get uh, test card from here let's go to the button here where is the test card oh my god where is it they provide a free test car this one here so copy any one of them put it here say 10 20 1 2 3 pay when you pay it you will receive sms at same time you receive email confirming to you you have paid this number and you have booked this car i think if you can hear my uh, my so now we got the confirmation about our payment at same time we receive email and we got sms saying to us you have uh, booked this car and you uh, and the time and everything about it so uh, let me just explain and you can write your feedback after you finish the journey about the car uh, you can write your feedback uh, but if you have before one feedback I think you can write one more feedback show you everything about the car here you can add to your uh, as we said to your favorite and I don't want to open this profile because I have my details in it but I can go to the favorite you can see if you have any favorite car there and if you have any uh, paid you can see all your history about the payment here paid or no uh, I will go to details to to see what's there to show you more about uh, the let's say, let's say your receipt or your invoice in details you can see it uh, so this one that your details here I don't want you to go top more because I have all my details there but showing you when you will pick up uh, pick up pick up this uh, this car and when you will drop it uh, drop uh, the, the timing for a uh, pickup and for the drop off and the date and how uh, the vehicle details and how many hours and paid from where to where show you the static uh, map from uh, Google uh, sometime I forget this one here uh, debugging uh, sorry uh, so just back to our are you here okay so this uh, what you can see there is if you have any pending payment that within 15 minutes you should pay it you can see your upcoming reservation and your future reservation if you have anything here uh, you can see your past reservation and what's more here we can see uh, let's try show you I think yeah that's 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 I think that you know for the the user interfaces for just this for the users for who can book the the car even it's uh, this website's uh, Responsive. You can run it with any um, with any mobile uh, you, with any mobile. You can run it with any mobile size. Uh, uh, so just let me show you one more things. In uh, yeah, let's go to the 
admin panel. So this is the control panel just for the admin, the admins we can have one or more. So they're showing when then on the left uh, side, the vehicles, the users and driving license, uh, re reservations, finance and report and settings. So let's uh, go to talk about them one by one. Maybe it will be our video longer bit, but it's all right, it will be. So here we have the members, how many members I have in my uh, website. The members, not the users. And we can have, uh, they showing us here how many reservations in the last 24 hours. If there is any pending license, I will explain to you what means this exactly. And how many vehicles I have. And my last 10 uh, booking, I can see it if I press on it, I can see more details about the booking. I, I show you before five minutes ago. I can see all my vehicles. I can just uh, uh, click on any of, any of them. I can go to the details and I can see everything about them here. Uh, if I press on vehicles, I will see a list of all vehicles I have in my uh, database. I can add from here, but I will show you first what we have here. So I have image for my vehicle, the model name, the registration number, table uh, booking table this one what's mean this booking table i can see all the history of this car how many time book it and everything's about it i can add image for this car i can see location where is it exactly now uh, this vehicle they're showing you here in the map so uh, let's back again one more time uh, i can edit it ed delete it i can see more details about it so let's suppose i want to add a new vehicle here I have used something uh, based in uh, England they call it uh, DVLA DVLA is the agency they provide for your, you the details of the car if just you write your uh, registration number car registration number so they will give you all this details you don't need to fill anything of them just you write any registration get the vehicle details where they'll give you this details uh, this API and the uh, second thing here, I can uh, see the location for all my vehicles, where they are now exactly. So let's suppose my vehicle now in Leicester City. So they say to you where they are currently your cars. Uh, yeah, you can press one of them too. You can see more details too. Okay, great. Uh, users, if I want to add... Oh, sorry. If I want to see all my users here, I can... Uh, edit them update something like the, the roles i can see their address their driving license uh, you can edit them to change from uh, to from uh, user to admin if you like uh, the roles here you can see what the stores they're static you can't you can't change them just even you should not edit anything so, uh, in this one uh, driving license so here one of the disadvantage of uh, car sharing you need to register uh, and if you need to register, you need to uh, upload your driving license. After that, should be something they call validating your driving license. After you validate it, you can book car. If you if there is uh, if still you are pending in the validation uh, process, so you should wait till you be uh, uh, proved from the the company side. So here you can see the driving license. If they are valid. Is valid. If now, if you if they, any one of the administrator, you can just say valid. Just press on save. He put this mark. He check it. It's all. Everything's all right. Uh, he save. It will send email to the user and say to him, your uh, license is valid now. So uh, I can see the reservations. Everything's about my. Uh, it will see everything in the reservation when you when this car booked and it's confirmed or not. Confirmed means it's paid. Same for the past reservation. Uh, the nice thing is we have here something called bank transaction. Uh, when the user pay, so I can get a transaction ID from the payment uh, gateway. They will send me ID, so I save this ID in my database just as a record. Same time I can go to the uh, invoice and can check it from there too. Uh, I can see all the paid orders. Same exactly to be your invoice here can see your invoice uh, the good things here are reporting so I have here I put chart report 
uh, to show you how many book booking you have in each month and there is one more to show you the vehicle uh, its timeline show you how, uh, that this vehicle uh, it's uh, how many book it in this day I think uh, I have more data in this day let me check so here they have three vehicles they said this vehicle let's book it from uh, this time to this time and it's free in this time and this is something nice this uh, they call a timeline from Google chart it's not easy to implement but it's something very easy uh, very nice that's so showing all the vehicles and they're showing the time same time here uh, here you have all your API settings I don't think so they are something uh, uh, very important there but this system is in a brief explanation as I told you I will uh, upload one more uh, PDF file explaining uh, let's say every tab everything's everything you need to know more about it uh, that's very briefly how how I uh, how, what I have in, in the system and same time you can get the code from github and feel free to change and you, if you have any question you just write write it in the comment i'll be happy to answer you uh, thank you so much bye and see you next time